Good morning. I'm Carlton Sharp, pastor of Faith Christian Center Church right here in Beaumont, Texas. And we're here on what's happening in our neighborhood. And I'm so excited to have our guest today, Mr. Jamie Smith. Welcome, Jamie. Well, thank you for the invite. Hey, hey, tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do. Well, my name is Jamie Smith. I'm born and raised in good old Beaumont, Texas, and I'm the Jefferson County District Clerk. Okay, Jamie, so, so you were born and raised here in Beaumont, and now you are the District Clerk. Yes, God is good. <laughs> Would you ever have thought that this was possible for you? No, because growing up, uh, my intent was to attend Texas A&M University. I was going to be an engineer, but God had another plan for me. I ended up in the military, came out of the military, started working for the Sheriff's Department, Went to Lamar full-time while I worked for the Sheriff's Department full-time. Got my bachelor's in management information systems. And I said, okay, I'm going to go work for a software company. Well, my kids were here, and uh, all the offers were out of town. I wanted to be here to be a father to my children. So I got an opportunity to start teaching math and coaching. So I taught math 6th through 8th grade at King Middle School. Wow. Taught football, uh, coach football. And uh, Miss uh, Carolyn Gidry, who's our county clerk, uh, gave me an opportunity. Uh, she was unrolling the new electronic voting equipment, and she was looking for someone with a kind of a teaching background. So she uh, hired me on as her office administrator. So I started doing that, and I got the, the political bite. You know, God tells you and leads you where yeah, he wants yeah. you to go. So I got the political bite, and uh, I ran for office for city council. I was blessed to win that position in 2007. And then God opened up another door uh, with an open seat for the district clerk uh, position in 2014. So I ran for that office, and God blessed me with another victory. Okay, so tell us a little bit about the responsibilities that you have as a district clerk. Well, I know many people, they, they say district clerk, and they automatically say jury duty. Yeah. But we, do, <laughs> we, we do so much more than jury duty. We take care of all the, the court records for the uh, district courts, the felony, civil, uh, divorces, adoptions, juvenile, we have to maintain those records and make sure that they're safe and, and, and not messed up and keep all that straight. Uh, and of course, we have a jury duty that we handle. We also brought on uh, one of my um, campaign platforms that I stood on was creating new revenue for the county. So we started doing passports, and that has just blossomed. Uh, I think the first year we did approximately 75,000 passports. And this year we're on pace uh, for 38 percent more than we did last year. Wow. So we're on pace for about 112, 113 thousand dollars worth of revenue that goes straight to the county from passports. So okay, okay. Uh, so so if a person needs to get a passport, they could just come up to the district clerk's office. Yes, and we are one-stop shop. We take care of everything for you. We do the photo and everything for you. So you got the paperwork, the photo. We got the paperwork, the photo. If you do the renewals, we make sure you have a new photo. We make sure the paperwork that you filled out is correct. If you don't, we have the paperwork for you. We seal it up, and all you got to do is drop a check in and mail it, because we cannot mail off the renewal. For the new passports, however, we go through the whole process, swear you in, fill it up, sign up, ship it off, and everything for you. So if a person needs to get a passport, what I mean, roughly, what, what's the cost for a passport, and how long will it, does it take to get the passport back to that person. Okay, uh, the rough cost is $110 for a passport for an adult. For children 16 and under, it's $80. Now they do have a passport card, uh, which you could use if you're traveling by car, but I always tell people, you might as well just go ahead and get the passport yeah. booked, because people say, oh, I'll go on a cruise, and we had an incident, a person went on a cruise, they got ill in Mexico. They were unable to fly back because they didn't have a passport. Wow. So the, their spouse had to jump through some hoops and get the passport form sent them there. Then they were able to fly back from Mexico into the States. So we're just telling them it's, it's insurance. Just go ahead and get the passport booked. Uh, yeah, the execution fee is $25. The photo fee is $12. For law enforcement and military, any first responders, we, don't, we do not charge you for the photo. You know, we try to believe in giving back to those that bless us and, and protect us. Uh, the usual time is six to eight weeks, we like to tell people. However, some of the spouses, the, the couples come in, they get a little upset because the husbands come back before the wives. And that's just <laughs> because we have one last name, it's easy to check our background, oh, yeah, than a spouse yeah, who may have been yeah. married before, so they have to check everything. And, and, and really, it's important that, that you know, the document of a passport is, is vitally important to us now because it, it, it makes it much easier for us to travel and do other things. Correct, it does. And it, and, you know, if you're traveling and you need it before that time, uh, you can get it expedited. So that will end up taking uh, two to three weeks. Of course, that's an extra fee. But in the slow, slow times, it's four to six weeks. But usually we like to tell people, like, in the summertime, spring break, when the kids are kind of out, 
uh, we increase that time to six to eight weeks. Uh, some people who are traveling within a week, uh, we, we advise them to go to Houston. They just gotta show proof of their travel itinerary and then they'll go ahead. You can actually get it done in one day in Houston. And of course, there's an added expense to that. Right, right. Now, Jamie, but really, most people in our county, when they encounter you, it's because of jury duty. <laughs> it's because of jury <laughs> yeah, duty. Yeah, jury duty. And that was one of the, uh, another one of the platforms that I, I, I ran on was trying to make the jury process a, a lot more convenient and easier for our citizens. So after I got elected, we started researching, and I found in Travis County, they have a system that they call iJury. Okay. Uh, so we went, looked at that, we looked at other systems, they have vendors and things out there. Orange County has a system as well. They paid $100,000 for their system and it, it ranges them from eleven to $13,000 a year for an annual update. Got with Travis County, got their system for $10 a year. Our MIS built it, created for us, and we pay an annual maintenance fee of five to $900 per year for it and it's convenient. We just started in February the 13th, and so far we have saved the county $15,000 just between February 13th and today. Wow, so. Just, just in that. So now, how does that, that, that system work? It works. You get a normal jury summons, just like you normally do. Uh, on there, it'll tell you to register on or before a certain date. Now, we, if you do not have a computer or you do not have access to a computer, you know, you can go to the public library, the employee, your employer will let you go ahead and do it. If you have a smartphone, you can do it. When I got my notice, I did mine over a smartphone. Three minutes, boom, gave me my assignment. You go on, you enter the information, uh, put your jury number in, your date of birth and all that. And we ask for a lot of contact information. We're not trying to stalk you. We're not gonna send you any, <laughs> we're not gonna send you any spam or anything yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. But that's just so the more numbers that we have to contact you, you can. So just in case you go through the process and you get assigned to a court, Say you're assigned to the 252nd Judge West. Well, all of a sudden that case is settled or, or put off or canceled. We're able to email you, call you, and text you notification that you do not have to show up. So that saves you from making a blank trip. Okay. And then if you, if you don't have access, you can come to our office and we have kiosks set up so you can walk through the process. And right now we're getting ready to expand. We're gonna have a kiosk set up at the sub courthouse at Commissioner Weavers. We're also we're going to have one set of Judge Shasharn, and we speak with uh, Commissioner Arnold and Commissioner Alfred about placing a kiosk out in their service center so it make them easy and more convenient for the citizens. They don't have to drive all, I mean, if you live out in China, you don't want to have to drive all the way into the courthouse just to sign up for right, I-Jury. Right. So we're going to have it uh, set up out there to make it an easier and more convenient process for our citizens. And another great thing is that <laughs> this new system gives you a three-month block. So you can pull up your calendar and you get your notice okay. and you could go in there and say, well, I have a church revival June 3rd through June 10th. I'm unable to serve. So you knock those days off. You block those days off on there and then the system will automatically assign you to an open day. Wow, so, so whew, whew, okay, that's, that, that's a lot. Okay, first of all, how secure is my information when I, when I put all my information in? When you put your information in, after you put it, it's gone, bye-bye, that's it. Okay. We, we do not maintain social security numbers. We do not maintain your addresses. We maintain your zip code, and we maintain your phone number and your contact information. And that's just so we can get in contact with you. Now that doesn't necessarily, now once I fill out the information, that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm picked for that jury. Is that correct? Yes. Unlike before, on, on, before on Mondays, you know, you would come down yeah. for the cattle call, you'll stand out in line, hopefully it's not raining, you'll come in, fight over parking, <laughs> yeah, you, that's come, true. you come sit down, I'll come in and tell you uh, one of my little corny Aggie jokes and I'll, you know, <laughs> give shout outs to my, my team, the Dallas Cowboys, and then we'll go ahead and proceed with jury assignment. Uh, you could either be assigned that day or you may come in and then you may not have to come back till Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or that Friday, which, you know, upsets people. Here I come down, wait two or three hours, and then you're gonna tell me I gotta come back another day. All that is gone. You don't have to do that. You could come down Monday through Friday. Our office opens 7.30 to 5.30 because we changed our hours now. 7.30 to 5.30, we come down, we'll walk you through the process for jury assignment. So, so once I sign up and then you guys, you know, we'll tell me. you exactly what court, what time, and when to be there. Oh, man. So That's when you sign up at the end, even but you gave us a phone, before you hit, when you hit confirm, and before it prints out in our office, you're going to receive a text message before the printout happens, letting you know that you're assigned to uh, Criminal District Court Judge John Stevens, May 10th, 10 o'clock a.m. 
Man, that saves a lot of time right there. Saves I, a lot I, of time. I mean, I mean, with, with all the things that, that people are involved in, they can actually schedule when they're going to go do jury duty. Correct. Wow, wow. Okay, so, so after jury duty, uh, what are some of the other things that you're, 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 you know, as a district clerk, you provide for the community? Well, like I said, unfortunately, you know, I always I make a joke, you know, uh, the county clerk, she marries you, but unfortunately, we divorce <laughs> you. Uh, but we do have a good thing. We do have adoptions, and so that's a big thing. We have adoption week, and we have adoptions, but we have family law that takes place. Of course, with the civil courts, we also have the criminal uh, courts that take place. We maintain all the records for the, the system. Uh, but, you know, my, my strong belief in, in being a public servant and being in the office is not just my job, is not just the courthouse. I believe in being a part of the community. And, and that's good to know because you, you not only do the records and all that, but you're out in the community. I yes. mean, I, I believe in being a part of the community. So we assist with senior citizen food, we assist with uh, back to school supply drives, we assist with. Uh, uh, the YMBL, the special rodeo for the children, uh, anything like that, gift of life, relay for life, whatever's there, people call and say, hey, they need some volunteers, Southeast Texas Food Bank, whatever they need, we get volunteers in our office and we go out there and assist because I, I believe that we have to be a part of the community to show that we're there for the citizens. We're just not there, you know, to be Jamie Smith District Clerk. It's not about that. That's just a title. We are there to serve our citizens in whatever capacity that we can serve them. And that's a capacity that I love giving back. Okay, so if somebody needs to get in contact with your office, the district clerk's office, how can they do that? 409-835-8580. My direct number is 409-835-8518. Just give us a call, come by and see us, come have some coffee. A lot of the jurors, when they're out there, they come by and have a cup of coffee and talk about you know, different things. And we, we love feedback. If you see there's some way that we can improve the uh, functionality of our office, the way that we make our office run smoother and easier, I, I love constructive criticism because I will listen to you mull over and if it's something that we can do that we seem is beneficial, we're gonna do it. We're gonna make that change because you, know, you are our boss and we're here to serve our citizens of Jefferson County. Well, listen, I wanna thank uh, District Clerk Jamie Smith for being here today on what's happening in our neighborhood. Hey, listen, take advantage of all the technology that, that they're providing for us now, especially when it comes down to jury duty. And then when it comes down to all the records of the county, go by and see the clerk if you need that. Uh, again, I want to thank you for joining us on what's happening in our neighborhood, and we will see you next time on our broadcast.